Hello my dear friends welcome to my channel in this video I am going to explain you about what is the change regarding multiples of a given number of given length right there will be two inputs that has been given number and a length for that input you have to calculate the multiples of a number till the length right so this is the concept behind the program only logic changes what is the logic that that is changing in the sense you have to create a function and pass those two input to the function right so you have to pass those two input for calculation after calculation you have to return the multiples of a number back to the main function and print the results there so this is the logic behind the program let me quickly explain about the concept using the programming and input function input format should be in a form of integer and it should be printed using a single space separation okay let me quickly explain about the program using c language you can see here in the first line we are just including standard input output function input output header files okay second line is just a prototype see you can see here in a 12th line we are using a function for that function initially we are providing the structure here right two integers two numbers are given in an integer format for that we are having int mul of int comma int right and here we are just providing void main void main or I, or else i can also give int main right so it's because we are just returning the value as integer right now you can check 7 5 i'm giving as integer value so it is printing integer value right so you can see even main function and sub function are in a integer format for that i am providing the prototype int mul of int comma int right so now in the third line only after seeing this main function your execution will start right fifth line is for variable declaration whatever the variable that we are going to use we are just declaring it right printf and scanf statement is for getting the input from the user two inputs we are getting one is num and another one is length seven and five are the values that i am giving here next from for loop your execution will start for i is equal to one i is less than or equal to length right now what is length value it is 5 right 5 is the value that i am giving here so this loop will execute from 1 to till 5 okay for 5 times this loop will be executed now when a next line it is going to perform the operation it is going to perform print of operation printing operation right see it is calling the function here you can see where is the mul mul is a function here right so this is called as function call okay see after calling this function the call will return here and it will do the operation okay see what is the operation it will perform it will calculate num star i num what is the number value it is 7 right initially what is i i is nothing but 1 right 7 star 1 is nothing but 7 now result value will be calculated result is equal to result is equal to 7 star 1 this 7 star 1 will be return back to main function return 7 to main function there it will return and print 7 okay now for i is equal to 2 for i is equal to 2 again it is calling the main function sorry sub function and call will move here and it will print 7 star 2 what is 7 star 2 it will return 14 as the value back to the main function and it will print 14 here okay and again for i is equal to 3 for i is equal to 3 it is calling the mul function so return it will return back here and it will print 7 star 3 the value of that is 21 right it will return back to main function and it will print 21 here for i is equal to 4 it will print 7 star 4 as 28 then the call will move back to main function and it will print 28 clear and for 7 star 5 for i is equal to 5 it will calculate 7 star 5 the value is 35 it will be moved back to main function right so now you can see the output 7 14 21 28 35 so the length is up to the maximum range right the loop has been executed from 1 to 5 now after reaching the maximum range your loop will stop its execution and this is the final output that will be printed on your output screen right you can see here this is the output see these are all the things i have just mentioned for your reference friends right so you can avoid this right see if we are getting the same question you can follow the logic behind this or else you can 
try your own logic friends thank you friends thanks for watching if you are having any doubts you can ask me thank you